How to Enroll in TESDA Online. So, paano po tayo makakapag-aral sa TESDA online kahit po gamit lang natin ay ang ating mobile phone. Uh, pero mas okay po kasi kung sa laptop no, or sa computer natin. Ang una pong gagawin, kailangan po natin mag-create ng account. So, ito po, pupunta po tayo, maglalag on po tayo sa kanilang website. So, www.e yan po, e-tesda.gov.ph So, enter po tayo. Okay. Yan. So, ito po yung pinaka-website nila. Study at your own pace, in your own time. Uh, ang ganda po eh. Uh, dito po sa taas, makikita nyo may login ano, section. Kapag uh, kayo po ay may account na, so dito po, username and password. Pero, kagaya nyan, ito pong video na to ay doon pa po sa mga wala pang account at nagbabalak na mag-enroll at mag-aral online. Ito po ang pipindutin nyo, not yet registered. So, click here. Yan. Uh, ito na po yung lalabas. Choose your username and password. Mag-isip po kayo ng username nyo and then mag-create po kayo ng password nyo. Ayan, username and then password. Tapos, yung email address nyo, uh, i-confirm nyo po ulit yung email again, no? Uh, I-type nyo po ulit yung email, yung first name nyo, surname, tapos yung address nyo po, city or town, country, Philippines, and then yung personal information nyo po. Okay, male or female po ba? Uh, civil status, single or married, tapos employment status before the training. Okay, tingnan po natin. Oh, okay, so ang option po ay employed ba kayo or unemployed? May trabaho po ba o wala? Okay, so kung wala, unemployed. Ayan, birthday nyo po. Uh, so, day, month, and year. Highest educational attainment, so grade 10 po ba, senior high, technical vocational, college degree, kung nakapag-masters po kayo, or doctorate level. So, ano ba, college degree, yun. Tapos yung complete permanent mailing address, contact number, yan, classification, choose what best describes you. Tingnan po natin ito. Student ba kayo, indigenous, micro-entrepreneur, farmer, overseas, kung OFW po kayo. So, yung mga OFW po, ah, pwede kayong mag-aral po dito online. Hindi lang po ito sa local. Informal workers, or kung halbawa sa bahay po, housewife, ganyan. Pwede po siguro dito sa others. Others po. Okay? Type of disability for persons with dis disability only. Okay? I hereby allow TESDA to use, post my contact details, name, email, cell phone, landline numbers, and other information I provided which may be used for employment, opportunities, and other purposes. Okay? So, choose po natin. Agree po ba kayo o disagree? Kung okay lang sa inyo na hindi naka-private yung information nyo, so mag-a-agree po kayo dito na willing kayo or agree kayo na ipakita ni TESDA, yung, yung, yung pong inyong information for purposes of employment opportunities po. So, mag-agree po kayo dyan. And then, ayan, I am not a robot. Tapos, create my new account. Um, dahil po kasi meron na po akong account dito, so, hindi ko na po yan finil outan. Pero, ito pang pipindutin nyo, create my new account. So, kapag po kayo ay meron ng account, Uh, dito na po kayo sa login section pupunta. Okay, so magla-login po tayo. Okay, so ito na po, nakapag-login na po tayo. Uh, kapag ka meron na po kayong ano, registered account, so ito na po ang punta nyo, no? and then ito na po yung lalabas. Ito po, pindutin natin yung all courses. Ayan. So, ito po yung mga courses na available sa kanila. Sa agriculture, automotive, electronics, entrepreneurship, Human health, healthcare, uh, heating, air conditioning, information and communication technology, uh, lifelong learning skills, o meron din sa maritime, uh, process of food and beverages, uh, social community development and other services, tourism, 21st century skills. Okay, so mamimili lang po. Halimbawa, dito po tayo sa process of food and beverages. Okay. So, yan po ang lalabas. Ah, okay. Meron siyang food processing NC2. Okay. Pintutin po natin. 
Yan. So, ito po yung description. In this module, you will learn about the food processing industry, career opportunities, work responsibilities, and what to expect in a food processing plant. Okay, so, ang dami po, ayan, no? meron din siyang processing food by salting, curing, and smoking. Ah, okay, ang dami pong module, so, processing food by fermentation and pickling, and pickling, alpha test. Processing food by sugar concentration. Processing food by drying and dehydration. Processing food by thermal application. Okay. So, mamimili po tayo dyan. So, halimbawa po, uh, napili mo ay yung, um, let's say, na, na, napili mo po yung sa massage. Sa human health, health care. Ayan. So, massage therapy. NC2. Ayan. Okay, so ito po yung mga description niya. Uh, okay. Resources and credits, foundations of massage, practice 1 of 4. So hanggang 1 to 4 yung modules niya. So pag nakapili ka na po ng course, no enrollment key required. Pipindutin mo na po yung enroll me. Yan. Okay, so pag pindot mo po nung enroll me, lalabas na po ito. Ayan. Yung description niya. Okay, para naman makakuha ka ng Tesla certificate. No? Yung at least may proof ka na ikaw ay nakatapos ng course. Kapag ready ka na raw po, kasi may exam po ito eh. So, aralin mo pong mabuti itong mga nasa program nila. And then, pag ready ka na, natuto ka na, bali, meron pong assessment na gagawin yung TESDA. So, pupunta po kayo sa TESDA office at doon po, uh, i-assess nila kayo. To check kung talagang natuto ka talaga about doon sa course. Okay? So, friends, I hope na nakatulong po sa'yo to. At least, at the comfort of your own home, matututo ka po doon sa napili mong courses. So, yun lang po friends. Marami pong salamat ulit sa inyong panunood. I hope na nakatulong po sa inyo ang video na to.